You need to watch this video before you think about quitting your job. If you're like part of the 4.4 million people who quit in September, find out why your eligibility for unemployment may be at risk based on how you quit your job, why your unemployment payments might be delayed, why people are spending all their money despite high unemployment numbers, and why people are talking about some of the strangest jobs you've ever heard of. And finally, discover why the supply chain is backed up. We finally figured it out. Onion rings in co uh, are filled with Coke. Uh, yes, kids, Coca-Cola. Hey, everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. Hope you're having a super Sunday. Here's your unemployment, jobs, and financial daily news and U.S. news update for Sunday, November 14th, 2021. My goal is to give you the best information to access government and private money and not make mistakes that'll cost you money for yourself, loved ones, and your business. So make sure you stay tuned. Also, I'm starting a game next week, a free game that you can play and answer questions and have some fun, win some points and prizes. Stay tuned to this channel though for personal finance, real estate, stock market, crypto, and other investments. Generate your income, save you lots of money. Also, check out my real estate program. It's a ten thousand dollar course for ninety nine bucks. You'll feel like you stole something. Thirty six videos, resource list, nine hours of content. How to buy, when to buy, and even when not to buy, and especially how to get loans less than three percent. So it's incredible. Make sure you check it out. Um, I, that's how I've done all my stuff is through real estate. Basically, if you look me up. Probably one of the most famous real estate people out there, if you Google me. Also, grab your Weeble stock and down below. Thank you so much to my patrons who support the channel for three bucks. But first, there's been some misconception about how you can collect unemployment after actively becoming unemployed. We've talked about how those have refused the vaccine in most states are ineligible to receive unemployment benefits. Did you know that generally speaking, if you quit your job, that you are no longer eligible for these type of benefits as well? It varies by state. And honestly, it's up to them to interpret those laws. And of course, there are exceptions. According to Paul Sun, state policy uh, program director at the National Employment Law Project, quote, generally, if you voluntarily resign from your job, you're not eligible for unemployment. It's not something people who quit their jobs can count on, end quote. The great reassessment that we've talked about or re-designation uh, took off before I could deliver this important news to 4.4 million people who walked out on their jobs in September alone. The good news is that there are exceptions to these rules and it's very likely they might that many of you who quit still could qualify for. So it's important that you uh, figure out what to say and what not to say. Those who leave a job due to, quote, unsafe work conditions, end quote, or possibly a, quote, constructive discharge, end quote. Listen, people. Which is basically when an employer basically forces you to quit may still get benefits. Your local unemployment division will look at this as a, on a case by case basis, which admittedly could take a while. Having dealt with the Labor Department, having been on both sides of that when I filed unemployment and when I have people file unemployment on my different companies, one of the things you got to worry about is how that person on the other side interprets what you're saying. A lot of times their personal opinion may fall into impacting how your decision is made. So you want to be clear and quote exactly what the term is because they'll oftentimes just put in what they think you're saying and then you find yourself getting a disqualification letter. I don't want that to happen to you. So make sure you use the cause that makes sense at your labor division. Ask the questions before you answer a question. That's something I learned a long time ago especially in the different legal cases that I've been involved in. Ask the question so you can find out what you, know, you can answer and not answer effectively. Don't be dishonest though. Meanwhile, unemployment is taking a while in one of the states in particular. California unemployment backlog is currently at 77,000. We talked about it in yesterday's video, another state 
with Virginia, who's been backlogged. While that's a loads better than the staggering one million it was at the time, at this time last year. And of course, less than Virginia, but Virginia only has 8.5 million people and California has 40 million people. But it still sucks. And the backlog is that some people are waiting for unemployment. We'll have to wait six whole months for an interview at the EDD. I'm not kidding, folks. Previously, California did away with the interview because, well, there are just too many people in a huge state to interview face-to-face, -face, 40 million people. But when unemployment fraud begins to skyrocket, you can kind of have to make uh, such a person come in and, and actually you have to see them. Rita Sneeze, the uh, director of the EDD, admits that only 15% of the claims raised uh, questions whether an interview is even required, with the rest being paid right away. She said, quote, these interviews are not scheduled 26 weeks out, which is completely unacceptable. They're scheduled 26 weeks out, folks. That's unbelievable. That's half a year. The good news is the EDD said that interviews are starting to ease up and the six months may drastically decrease soon. Bottom line, unemployment is coming your way. And I'm sorry it's taken so long for this massive delays, but it is coming. This is reflective of so many states. That's why we cover it. It's not just here, not just in California. Speaking of money on the way, I'll give away $2,000 when we hit 200,000 subscribers. Hopefully you can help us get there. All you got to do, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, like the video if you enjoy our content, and also give us a comment. Give me a piece of your mind. I'd love to know too what you guys like in these videos and what you don't. Just say it in the comments. Say, Andrew, I like these. Also, I'm usually, right when I publish the video, I spend a lot of time talking to you guys for the first part of, uh, part of the video. I can't speak right now. So please, when you see a video get launched, interact with me as much as possible because I love to hear your thoughts. Meanwhile, the money that people are getting, they're spending it and they're spending it fast. According to new stats on Amazon and Home Depot, Home Depot shares have boomed nearly 40%. I bought a ton of Home Depot as most of you know this and their rivals Lowe's jumped 45%. 40 and 45%. Walmart and Target are also doing well, so that means retail stores among the top performers of the Dow or the industrial average. I guess the good news is that inflation isn't totally killing our spending habits as much as we thought. The economy is being fed its dinner, so to speak, which is great. According to Louis Navier, ch uh, cha uh, chairman of Navier and Associates, quote, retail sales are expected to soar this holiday shopping season due to the high consumer confidence as well as the rising personal income. The shortage of some key goods should not derail holiday spending since when consumers have spent money in their pockets, nah, they'll spend it again, end quote. Analysts are even predicting Home Depot's earnings per share will continue to rise over 20% this fiscal year and nearly 30% from lows. This is really great for the economy. It's a sign that we're basically recovering. Now, this is not financial advice. If you want to know where this article came from, you can look right down in the description below, or I showed it to you at the beginning of this video. So I don't want you to go out and run out and buy Home Depot and Lowe's, even though I own a bunch of it and I'm keeping it. I'm not saying to go out and spend all your unemployment funds. Hopefully, Hold on to those and put them in, into savings or invest them or do what you feel good about doing, whatever you want to do with that money. I particularly do, I, I just found out today that um, China has 13.3% like inflation. They are a large supplier of the products that we get. So I'm more concerned about inflation than I was before because our supply chain is basically most of our, a lot of our product comes from China. And if their prices increase, their labor will increase, their cost of goods will increase, and ultimately we'll have to pay more. Next up, people are talking about their strangest job they've ever had, and it's, uh, and it's too good. We have to share it. It came from a recent BuzzFeed article, and some of these jobs are, they sound absolutely amazing. You know those, uh, quote, skip into, end quote, 
timestamps that um, pop ups on Netflix. Well, somebody has to put them there. It's an eight hour job. You can apparently get done in about three hours. Similarly, karaoke videos need to line up with the words of the song, right? These are some of the jobs too. I don't know uh, why I've ever thought of this before. Those slot machine sounds and songs that you walk through in Vegas, here in Las Vegas, there's someone composing those songs. Duh, right? And it's apparently a full-time job and none of us even think about this stuff like that. I mean, there's so many things. There's jobs everywhere. I used to tell people, I'd look around and I'd say, everything you look at is a job and there are jobs behind it. Think about the concrete that's on your sidewalk. How many different jobs did it take to get the sidewalk there? And how many people did it feed? There's lots of jobs. Here are some of the other strange jobs I saw on the list. A graphic designer for receipt coupons. Hmm. Someone who weighs gallons of gas for a living. Reading letters from machines that can't decipher them. And horsehair braiding. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe this is something to think about while we're looking at the next job. Maybe broaden the horizons a bit. Horse braiding. Maybe I'll do that. Making you uh, the gig, this new gig world is very interesting. Love to hear your thoughts. Tell me what you, uh, what you think about that. And finally, let's talk about the supply chain and what just, we just discovered in the UK borders. Border force enforcement officers found 44 million worth of uh, sugar, if you know what I mean, uh, Coke, cola, in a 922 pound, this is a kid-friendly show, I can't say it, okay? I just can't say it. But you know, the little the stuff, baby powder, you get it. Nine, tw 922 pounds of onion ring shipment. This put everything to an absurd halt. And the man behind this crime was uh, promptly arrested, of course. The man, 33-year-old Perit uh, Perzinski, was charged with, quote, um, you know, we'll say powder <laughs> smuggling. Apparently, Kent's Folk Stone Magistrate Court yesterday, Magistrate Court yesterday morning, according to Mark Howes, NCA's branch commander, quote, this was really a significant amount of uh, Coca-Cola taken out of circulation. The seizure will deprive the organized crime group responsible for them to profit, which would have fueled more offending, end quote. In other words, catching the soda before it's, you know, been spilled uh, makes a better place for everybody um, it, to clean up the mess, so to speak. In other seriousness, this couldn't have happened at a worse time. Things have already slowed down and been halted in the supply chain with inflation, China 13%. And stopping anything at the border is just not a good idea. Joe Biden is supposed to meet with China's leader, Xing uh, Jinping, Jinping, Jinping? Uh, Jinping. Any rate, uh, tomorrow to discuss the issue of inflation. We'll see whether that goes, uh, where that goes in the meantime. Tell me what you think of this uh, in the video below. Um, definitely, it's going to be interesting. China, 13%. We just saw that today. If you still haven't applied for unemployment assistance, get a head start on the weekend or actually the end of the weekend. Make sure you fill it out. The basic 26, 27 weeks is available. Be sure to find out if, you, uh, if you've quit and you did it for the right reasons because you could lose your benefits if you don't. Make sure you're honest. Show them your history. Give them your ID. Fill out the application as generally and honestly as possible. Get a backdated check. If you've been out of work for a while, make sure you don't miss out on that money. Take care of yourself. The PUA is still closed, unfortunately. Um, we've been waiting for AOC and Bush to get back on the bandwagon. They are now tracking stats about people that are applying for licenses. So that could be how they measure, and I anticipate that that's what they'll use to issue PUA benefits. Please keep sharing your experience with the UI and unemployment benefits in your state. Please stay safe out there. Take care. Thank you for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care of yourself.